Welcome back to yet another 213 Crispy video and today we're going to do an unboxing of a Nitro all-in-one starter kit from Red Cat. Now this particular kit came off of Amazon and I will put a link down low in the description below to this particular product. Um, I am getting into the Nitro RC world and I was in the market for a new um, starter kit per se. I really needed the, the glow plug and the fuel bottle more than anything and I did not have the wrench. So it's kind of a nice thing just to get the combination. But uh, yeah, so before we go ahead and open this, I do want to talk about one thing. And this is the Fly Sky GT3C controller and receiver that was donated by qwinout.com. So go check out their website if you are in the market for drones or controllers of any sorts. They have everything that you would need for any of those particular products and they were generous enough to donate our controller for this video series. So I want to give a shout out to them and to thank them for giving me the opportunity to use their products in these videos. And if it wasn't for them, this video would not have started because I have been waiting and waiting for probably a good two months. And I have a friend that is also a fellow YouTuber that lives north of me and we're going to meet up and run these together. Um, shout out to you, JJ. You know who you are. Um, I will leave a description down below to his channel. Uh, he is an extremely popular um, drone mechanic slash pilot and he also has been migrating to a lot of RC boats. Um, and some cars, but yes, so long story short, I'm rambling. So let's go ahead and we're gonna do our unboxing first. So like I said, this came from Amazon. I believe it was 20 bucks. Looks like the barcode number on here, which you may or may not be able to see, is 80142A. And like I said, it's from Red Cat. And when I used to run remote controlled cars, and was into nitro years ago these glow plug igniters used to always be ran by a c or a d battery of some sort internally a lot of them are now migrating to a charger system so they're rechargeable so they're quote unquote making the um they're making it more e eco-friendly i should say so we've got our glow plug igniter and then inside our bubble wrap is going to be our charger. Now, if I can get this apart, didn't think about actually having a knife handy for this. Eh, I'm a low production video uh, engineer over here, so I can't afford a knife. So we got our glow plug and our charger that goes with said glow plug and what's kind of cool about a lot of these and they're all about the same is the way that these charge you plug it obviously that into your wall and then it uses a glow plug to charge so you just pull back on your lever and there you go voila it's charging pretty simple pretty easy uh turn the brightness up a little bit so you guys can see a little better also comes with two small screwdrivers Nothing to be brag about, but they're good enough for what you're going to need for to throw in a toolbox of some sort that you will need. Um, you're going to get a large combination wrench and a smaller combination wrench. Those are kind of nice to have whenever you are working on your engine. You need to take a glow plug off. Uh, so, for example, I gotta figure out which one fits it, but one of these will fit just about anything and everything that you'll need. Uh, it's kind of a quick all-purpose tool that is nice to take tires and wheels off if you need to. Usually, like I said, glow plugs, tightening up a lot of your basic stuff, and it prevents you from having to carry out a bunch of tools while you're out in the field. And then the lastly, a fuel bottle. Now, with this, you get a rubber gasket that goes inside your lid pretty simple straightforward nothing fancy about it you fill up your go juice of choice so with this particular boat 
Um, when I used to run, pretty much the only thing that was available was Traxxas fuel, which was flat out garbage. So I am probably going to run my VP fuel. So we got some VP fuel, and this particular VP racing fuel is also 30% nitro and 9% oil. So I don't know if you guys can see this or not. Let me see if this is going to focus. There we go. So 30% nitro, 9% oil. The other one that I have is Byron's Race Fuel Gen 2. And this particular one is also 30% nitro, but it just has 11% lubrication in it. So I tossed around the idea of going with some other manufacturers. I'm sure somebody's going to leave a comment down below on what they would suggest. So I'm always looking for fuel alternatives. Uh, I was just able to get a really, really good deal on the VP uh, Powermaster RC fuel. I think I paid, it's it's labeled $13.99. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, um, but I paid $8.99, I think, for the quart. So I was extremely happy with that. And then this came from Amazon for like 10 bucks shipped. So extremely, extremely hard to argue for the prices. And this is pretty much all you're gonna need to run um, any RC nitro powered car is to get you going. And that's why it's called a starter kit. So um, yeah, simple, easy unboxing. And we're gonna wrap this video up. Thank you guys for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Give me a thumbs down if you don't. I do keep an eye on the thumbs so I know what kind of video content you guys like later down the road. Um, I am doing this on my workbench. So I finally am able to get in here and actually clean off my bench and do some videos inside, which is kind of nice. Um, yeah, so awesome. So uh, I appreciate all the support that I've been getting. And thank you, JJ, for the inspiration of your YouTube channel for me to get back into the hobby of the RC World boats. And uh, I look forward to meeting up with you soon. And again, thank you, QNOut.com, for the donation of the controller. And we're going to wrap this video up. Again, thank you guys for your, your time watching. Thank you guys for your subscriptions. And thank you guys for all the comments down below. So other than that, we're going to wrap this video up. And have a wonderful and fantastic day.